Hey, hey, hey there, my friend. I'm incredibly excited to actually have you here. And this video really is all about you. What are you going to get out of today's training? I have to tell you, when I did this one, it really skyrocketed my followers. We were actually going to talk about five amazing power pose hacks that can build your confidence. Now this is something many of us struggle with, especially when we're starting out as entrepreneurs. But you know what? I'm going to show you a way on how to make this so much fun that you are going to be giggling all the way through the exercise that I give you at the end of all of this and you are going to make a massive impact on your business. Now, I'm Connie Matthews and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers build the right framework and business that can give them back 99% of their day. What would you do with that? Just imagine. Okay, let's move on. It, you know, power poses aren't actually that challenging and I'm gonna offer you a very uncomplicated way to instantly and effortlessly build your confidence without the fear. And I know that we all have that, so let's get into it. Now, as you actually all know, every single training that I do, I offer a free downloadable, a resource that's actually gonna help your business. But with this one, this with this training, I've actually put together another resource for you. But when you download it, you'll be going through algorithm tips, marketing tips, social media tips, and obviously my favorite is the engagement tip and the elevator pitch. All of those are very valuable for your resource. And that really backs up what we're gonna cover off today. Power, pose, confidence. So go over to conniematthews.com.au forward slash zero one zero hit that big green button and you'll be able to download that free resource that's gonna go a long way for your business. We're actually gonna cover off five things as well. And that is, what exactly is a power pose? Is there a history behind power poses? How do you create a power pose? And the surprising benefits to power poses and the best strategy to actually implement all of this. And this is where all the Fun is actually going to come. Really interesting to note here is that we use a lot of tools in our business to actually help us progress. Power poses is really just another tool, and what it's it really does is a little bit of a life hack more than anything else because your body language will actually let people know exactly everything they need to know about you. So you were able to step up and show yourself in a much stronger position, you're going to build a lot of trust and confidence from your audience. Almost the interesting away. thing here Just is your body language also actually sends out non-verbal communication to your audience. So by just changing our posture, we can actually show confidence, we can show strength, and poise in any situation. The other amazing thing here is it will actually shift your mindset totally. It's actually gonna shift your gears very quickly and change your entrepreneurial mindset and you're gonna move in the right direction. And this is actually all gonna happen the instant you lay eyes on your own photos. Hence, what do you think is coming up? A photo shoot, you are going to have so much fun. When you actually take that day out and you're going to have a photo shoot, I actually want you to get back in touch with me and I want to know exactly how you felt, what you learnt and how you are going to move your business forward because the power that you're going to see within yourself is going to be outstanding. Is there a history to power poses? Well, actually, yes, there is. And it goes back to ancient origins all the way back into Hinduism. But if we also have a look at, just as an example, if we have a look at Renaissance art, the statue of David, you've got Napoleon, you've got Caesar, all of these great people were always in power poses through the art that we actually look now, at how these do we days. actually create a power pose. So when we actually assume a very strong and confident position, we have an increase of testosterone and a decrease in cortisol. 
which gives us a lot more confidence within ourselves. Hence why it's a good practice. Now I'm gonna get you to think about something here. I want you to go back in a time in your life where you really felt very successful. Perhaps you might have won a competition or you might have won a race or anything that you did really well and very, very successfully. What was your posture at that time? Now that is the posture that we are going to cultivate in you on a regular basis. I have to tell you who my best friend is, and that is Google. Google is absolutely my best friend. What I would love you to do is take a few minutes and Google power poses. Have a look at all the people that you admire, and I guarantee you're going to see them in a power pose. I love uh, um, Oprah, Michelle Obama. There are so many people that you'll be able to just have a look at. So the positions would be something like the V, the victory, or the outstretched arms, or leaning up against um, a wall, for an example, or just sitting on your chair, arms crossed, sitting on a set of steps, arms crossed, or in a thinker's pose. All of these are power positions, and you can use them to your advantage. At the end of the day, your smile is going to be the best power pose you can actually have, so don't forget to do that. And for me, my hero, my superhero is actually Wonder Woman. If you actually have a look at her, she's always got her hands on her hips, her feet are firmly stand, standing on the ground, slightly apart, and she is really nice and tall and shows a lot of power and a lot of, a lot of strength. These are all very easy to do, and you're, you can actually get a photographer to capture that in you to see. As you know, I'm doing these training sessions on a very, very regular basis, and I thoroughly enjoy delivering that content to you. So for now, I want you to hit that subscribe button and I want, the reason I want you to do that is obviously because when I bring out a new training session, you're going to be notified straight away. And I always give a free resource with every training session that I deliver. The surprising benefits of assuming power poses. I did actually touch on it a little bit earlier. When we actually assume a power pose position, and I want you to do this, and I want you to step in front of the mirror and assume a power pose position, and I want you to hold that position for two minutes. I know, two minutes is actually a long time. Then change it to another power position and have a look at yourself in the mirror. The thing here is it will absolutely change the hormones within our body. And as I mentioned earlier, what will happen is you will have an increase in testosterone, a decrease in cortisol, and that actually does equal confidence. The amazing thing here is when you do that exercise and you stand in front of the mirror and hold that power pose position for a couple of minutes, it actually does increase your confidence by 20% and that's actually been documented. Number five, the best strategy to implement your power poses. I'm telling you, I had so much fun, it's not even close to funny here. This is what you're going to do. You are going to organize a day out with a friend. And really, all you need is a smartphone. If you do have a friend that's a photographer, that's even better. But really, you are going to spend a whole day out. Now, the location is really important when you select one. So, for an example, here in Adelaide, we have um, the River Torrance. But right next to the River Torrance, we've also got a hotel, we've got the convention center, we've got the casino. So within that one little environment, we have so many different background sets that you can use. So you've got the river, so you've got the boats, you've got uh, people walking, running, you have a rotunda there as well. Then of course you could go into the hotel and take some, photo, uh, take some photos there as well. Then of course you can go into the casino. But what we're looking for is a great photo shoot all in the one place, all in the one location, so that you don't need to be driving all over the place. That one location has lots of different backdrops for you. The other reason I'm suggesting something like this is you will need to pack at least five changes of clothes. So you will need to have, jeans will be fine, a really good uh, jacket and just shirt, that would be fine, or a t-shirt, or both. 
and maybe a dress and then the jacket goes with the dress of course and maybe a change of shoes. But the reason we want that location is we actually need to have obviously a bathroom to be able to go to to be able to change and fix our makeup and our hair and obviously if it's guys just your hair so that's really important so you want five sets of clothes as a minimum the location will give you the bathroom or the washroom area for you to be able to utilize to make the changes as I mentioned earlier your smartphone is really cool cool thing to use these days it's got so many little bits and pieces and lots of functionality towards it but what I want you to think about here is I actually want you to take somewhere between 100 to 500 photos I know it's gonna take you all day but can I just tell you you will have a complete year's worth if not two of posts that you can use those photos over and over and over again and you can rearrange those photos and again with Canva you can actually remove the background of that photo and pop yourself into another image so you will have somewhere between one to two years worth of images that you can absolutely use so have fun with this thing. I also want you to keep your bloopers can I tell you they actually make the best posts ever I've got quite a few the other thing that I want you to think about is actually the weather. We need to make sure that we've got great sunlight and you're not going to be washed out for the day. So ensure that you're picking a very good day and worst case scenario, if you've picked an environment like I've suggested, you can actually take your photo shoot inside. You can, if you wanted to, include your family, your children and all your pets or everyone all together at the same time because they make great photos as well or great posts as well because your community actually want to know a little bit about you so it's a great thing if you can to incorporate your family and your Here's pets. My question of the week well it's actually a bit of a statement someone asked me oh, I need this morning well actually said your videos are so good and I just kind of really had to laugh so this is actually what it looks like when I'm putting together a video. Depending on when you're actually watching this video, we're currently renovating. So my little desk is moves around regularly and I actually don't have a house to, well, I don't have a spot to put my um, video equipment up. So this is what it actually looks like. So if you're thinking that you can't do this, I have to let you know, yes, you can. I know that you're getting a lot of value out of the, the content that I'm producing for you because I do get people ringing me and ear messaging me and asking questions. So what I want you to do is I want you to share this particular YouTube video, this training and the blog to any of your friends, any of your entrepreneur friends or your network marketing friends that you know will also get value out of this content. Now for me, I actually do want to stay in touch with you and if you want to ask any questions, I'm always a quick message away. You can find me on LinkedIn, you can find me on YouTube and you can email me, you can find me on Facebook and I will always answer you personally. Now, this is it for this week. So there we go, there's my power pose. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye guys.